In this video, we're going to talk about using the viewer in the Harlequin Rip, which is called Roam. We're using a Zytron version of the Harlequin Rip, and we're going to begin with a four color job which has already been processed. We're going to zoom into the active queue where we can see the four colors. We'll use the Shift key to select all four and press the Roam button, which will open the viewer window. If we go up to the top of the viewer window, we have an option to open a reduced Roam window. And what you'll notice right away is that I don't see anything. Everything is black. That's because we're looking at negatives. Most people are going to film rip to negative, and so you can't really see anything in the Roam. What we're going to do is shut our Roam windows. We're going to select one of our colors, the black one. It doesn't matter which. We double click, which opens an information window. Turn off the negative selection, making sure that change all pages and job is set, and then hit OK. Switching from negative to positive will change the way the images will output. You will have to repeat this procedure in reverse before you output the separations if negative output is required. There is a better option. It is usually possible to rip to positive and set the image setter or driver configuration to create negatives. Consult your imager manual, plugin manual, or a rip expert for assistance with proper rip to positive configuration. Getting back to our illustration. Again, using the Shift key, I choose all of my colors and then press the Roam key. I'm going to move up and open the Reduced Roam window, and you'll notice that my image is now in positive. This is something I can work with. Before continuing, let's review. You can select all the separations and view them together using the Shift key. You can change the view from negative to positive. You will need to set the files back to negative before output. In the next section, I have both the Roam and the Reduced Roam windows open, and one is on top of the other. To move around quickly, what I can do is hold down the Shift key and click in the spot that I want to see in the regular Roam window, which you see here under the Reduced Roam window. Let me show you how that's done again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the Shift key, I'm going to move the little X to the spot I want to see, and click. Moving back to the Roam window, I can see that it's zoomed in in that area. You can also see that in Rome, or the viewer, I can see traps. Right here I can see that the cyan is trapped to the yellow. Now let's talk about viewing traps to black items. First thing I want to do is show you that I still have my regular Rome view behind my reduced Rome. Then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to open up the Options window for Rome. In the Options window, it shows me all the colors that I'm viewing. What I can do is highlight a color, the black color, and I'm going to turn it off so I can't see it anymore. Now, on a trap, the color should be coming up underneath this black, but I really can't tell just by turning the black on and off that this is the case. If I look very closely, I can, but boy, this is a lot of trouble. So rather than viewing traps to black in this manner, there's another little trick that I can do. First, I need to close my Roam windows, and I'm going to go down to the active queue and select the black separation. I'm going to double click so it opens the information window. And then I'm going to go over here where it says change Roam color. I'll select the black, and I can come down here and change the values for the view on the screen, the RGB values. I'm going to change them to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5. In RGB, 0, 0, 0 is black, and 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 is going to be about a 50% gray. These changes will only affect the viewer. Final output will still be a solid black, but in the viewer, it's going to appear as a gray that I can actually see through. Using Shift, I select all the colors. I click the Roam button. Go up and again and click the Reduced Roam button. And as we move down to the Reduced Roam window, you'll see that indeed my type looks gray. A shift click so that I can zoom in. And let's take a look at what we have here. Clearly, I can see that there's a trap coming up underneath the black. And I don't have to guess. And I can be very sure that it's going to print correctly. Now I want to talk about a way to set up a transparent black selection so you don't have to change the values of RGB every time. Now follow me closely here. What I want to do is I want to go to the directory where the RIP is stored. 
Then I'll open the SW folder, the config folder right here, and I'm going to locate the file which is called Rome Color Info. Okay, this is important. Before you do any of the next steps, make sure you save a copy of this file someplace safe where you can get the original back. Next, you want to open the file up using a text editor. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a text editor called WordPad. The file opens in a text editor. The next thing I need to do is scroll down in the document and locate where it says default black. I'm going to highlight the area between the carrots here and copy that. Then I'm going to add a return here after the default black. I'm going to paste the information back in. And the next step is to change the values for red, green, and blue. Now I can change these to anything I'd like. I'm going to change them to the value I was using before, which would be 0.5 for red, green, and blue. The next step is to change the name here. I'm going to change it to trans black for transparent black. After changing the name, I'm going to save the file. It's a good idea here to also restart the RIP to make sure it recognizes the changes made to the file. Let's see how well that worked. What we're going to do this time is we're going to select a black separation. We're going to get info on it. We can do that by double clicking or hitting the info button. We're going to go to change Rome color as we did before. Let me get the window up here. And we're going to highlight black. But rather than altering the red, green, and blue numbers here, we're going to go down to this pull down menu and select trans black. Trans black will be available from now on because it is permanently in the file. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to select all four colors. We're going to click the Rome button and we'll see if the changes that we made are going to show up. Looking at our reduced Rome, we'll notice that the type indeed looks like a 50% gray and that we can see traps when we do our shift click to zoom in. If you appreciate our video tips, please visit us at our website, www.c-doc.com, and consider letting us help you with your pre-press and press service supply and equipment needs.